Football Coverage, powered by Davis Law Firm. This is great video from Dallas Cowboys training camp in Oxnard. QB1 Dak Prescott throwing passes to wide receiver one Amari Cooper. The boys announced yesterday Cooper was removed from the physically unable to perform list. Their $100 million wide receiver hasn't been able to participate in the offseason since having surgery on his right ankle in January. Now he's good to go after passing his physical. The Cowboys have one practice left in Oxnard today before their preseason game against Arizona Friday night at 9, and then they return home to Texas. And the Houston Texans kick off their preseason Saturday night at Green Bay, but quarterback Deshaun Watson is not expected to travel with the team for the game. That's according to general manager Nick Casario. Despite the fact Watson returned to practice on Monday after being absent for unknown reasons for the previous five days, Watson is facing an NFL investigation and 22 civil lawsuits accusing him of sexual assault and misconduct during massage. Texans head coach David Coley was pressed by the media. Will Deshaun play? Well, he's unlikely to play in the game for sure. So we'll we'll make a decision later on in the week as to what's going to happen with that. Is that based off of injury or? Well, it's, it, it, it's well, it's based off the fact that you know the limited reps that he's had in practice and that kind of thing. Do you expect him to play at all this preseason? Uh, no comment. QB Tyrod Taylor is listed first on the Texans unofficial depth chart. The Packers host the Texans Saturday night at 7. With Carson Wentz out following foot surgery, Colts rookie QB and six-round draft pick Sam Ellinger is dueling with second-year QB Jacob Eason while Wentz is on the mend. Eason figures to have the inside track, but Sam is pushing him. The Texas great feels he has what it takes to start in the NFL. The position of quarterback takes a lot of different things, um, and having, having a good arm is certainly one of them, um, but it's one of many variables that go into the equation of good quarterback play. And um, so I'm, not, I'm certainly not selling my arm short by any means, but um, I do know that there's a lot of variables that go into it, and I try to improve every single one every single day, and, and that's, that's what I, my approach. Wentz is trending to start week one against the Seattle Seahawks. Apparently, he's a quick healer. UTSA Roadrunners continue fall practice as they prep for their season opener. The goal this year is to be better than last season that saw UTSA win seven games and become bowl eligible for only the second time in school history. Several players have received a lot of preseason love, and Coach Trailer believes the NFL is in the future for a few of his guys. I think we've got a few guys on some radars, to be honest with you. And... Um... They're in here to watch a few certain people, but while they're here, they're noticing other guys. And it was no different when I was a high school coach. When the college guys were there recruiting one kid, they found six other ones while they were there. Well, it's no different here. It's just a, it's just a different uh, level, but it's still the same. So when the scouts are here, they notice other players. So other guys are getting evaluated, and that's good for all of us. Roadrunners season opener will be at Illinois Saturday, September the 4th. 6.30 p.m. That new facility ought to help a lot, too. Woo, that new facility is something else, I'll tell yeah. you. Nice. All right, Larry, thanks. All right, SA Live was back to school yesterday. Now they're back to the studio. Hi, Mike. How are you? <laughs> How yes. are you? And it is a wild Wednesday, and we're going to tell yes. Agreed. It is a wild Wednesday. We're going to tell you you can get hands-on with some critters. Yes, Robert Trejo from Zoomagination is here and the mystery box. Give us a yeah. hint. This animal is from South America. Okay. He's uh, very furry, sharp teeth, has a prehensile tail. Okay. Looks like it's part of the lemur family, but they're related to the raccoon. Hmm. Interesting. And some other creepy crawlies. If you don't like certain things, he's got them today. Yeah, <laughs> lovely. And Andre Ayala from Barbell Sweets is here. And what sets your sweets apart? So um, healthy sweets, simple ingredients, uh, no sugar added. Um, they keep the parents happy, kids happy. Barbell Sweets has all the secrets. So this is good for kids for snacking after school, right? Absolutely, protein packed. Um, nutritional value is definitely there and it's not just loaded with sugar, like I said. Perfect, I can't wait to try it. <laughs> and from teacher gifts to personalized pet paintings and more, Jen Tobias Kruski is out live. Yes, Pinspiration all about the crafty projects, but they are teaming up with the Animal Defense League. You can come have fun, paint your pet, and you're giving back to them. And we have a furry friend who really needs a forever home. We'll tell you how long Jenga has been waiting and how you can help make this happen today. That and so much more here at Pinspiration. Back to you guys. And school's getting ready to start, so we got spirit. How about you? 
Show us your school spirit photos at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter, and we hope to make you famous during the show. No surprise in the weather world. This is the hottest time of the year, and we're going to be feeling like we're above 100 degrees uh, through at least Saturday. But by Sunday and Monday, some isolated showers and storms are in the forecast for us. So we'll keep our fingers crossed for that rain. We could use a little bit more in the rain bucket, even though August so far and July have been good to us. So let's hope for some more rain. That was nice. I hope it's not over. Thank you. I just hope they keep the animals away from the sugarless treats down there because those treats look pretty good. And I just want to know cage. what that animal in the cage yeah, so was. I, it's furry and it uh, makes it squawks. I hope it doesn't go crazy on the treats. We'll find out. Mike and Fiona might go crazy on the treats. What could happen? What could go wrong? <laughs> Let's find out as they live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Yes. Hold on to your hats and your heebie-jeebies. Hello and happy Wild Wednesday. Woo We've got some creepy animals as well as some wild animals on the show today. And that's besides my coaster hate. <laughs> the she wild animals. Theoda Gorstiza. <laughs> and if you're freaked out by spiders or snakes, We've got you covered here because, <laughs> yeah, we've got both of the show and some other ones. The one, the mystery animal mm -hmm. that uh, Ursula was talking about. So, hey, did you see last night? We had our special in prime time. That was so much fun. We were over there at Sunshine Cottage School for Deaf Children. There's the drum line from East Central High School. We also had fashions. You know, back to because that's the most important part. Well, not the most important part. We write arithmetic and fashions, and we kind of played a little around a little bit. So, and crash. <laughs> yes. And you can watch the full show anytime. Just go to salive.com. There is a link on our homepage. I oh, know we're gonna get to you. Don't worry. And of course, the honeybees were there as well. Yeah, we have a critic in the the. Uh I say live. I know they're gonna have a lot to today, say then. So. Okay, so we're still trying to get everyone excited for back to school. So you want to see your back to school spirit? Post your pictures and word of encouragement on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll sh try to show some of that a little later on in the show. And it could be current school spirit, or maybe your pictures from way back when you graduated. And you way, way, way back. Okay. <laughs> What was it like holding still for that long before they took it? I love you. I'm kidding. Okay, we were doing the jokes last night that it was Matthew Brady that took my high school picture and a daguerreotype and all that stuff, if you know what we're talking. Hey, let's uh, change subjects here right now. Yeah, the producer's going, move on. Move so on. lots of kids, and uh, of course, heading back to school. They need lots of energy for all that good brain power and athletics and band and everything else and snacks, snacks, and more snacks, right? Yes, Andre Yala, the owner of Barbell Sweets, is here with two easy and healthy recipes for some sweet snacks because your treats are different from a typical bakery, right? Yes, absolutely. So they're actually very different as they have no sugar, no butter, or flour. So I thought we would make some pumpkin pie energy bites. That's what you have there. This smells so, like fall right here. Yes. I know. Uh, look at these. Okay, this is a, a whole thing of cupcakes right here, and those are good for you. So yes. I can eat so, all those and still be healthy. Don't eat all of them. Okay. She's already claimed one of them. So um, yes, so they're actually protein packed, uh, low carb, moderate fats. So if you're following any type of lifestyle like keto, mm -hmm. um, but also great for kids that are diabetic or um, type 1, type 2 insulin resistant. We definitely have a lot of people that come in for their kids um, and definitely do that. So and this is, after I mix it, I mean, and, and yeah, you're just it. There's no throwing bake, right? everything in there. And so that's the cool thing about something like this. It's no bake. Um, all you're going to do is throw everything into one bowl, mix it around. So what all's in there now? We, so we have our oats. We have some dates, uh, which is going to be your natural sweetener. So you have the natural sugar, but we don't have any added sugars. So you're not going to see that huge spike in glucose levels. Um, but these are great for after sports activities um, because you have that fiber, you have a good carb, um, and and like I said, you're not going to have that crash. And especially close. with kids, you know, in that in the afternoon, it's right between lunch and dinner, yes. and they need something to keep them going. And maybe it's you know that extra little boost for homework. And this is the perfect thing for it. Like you said, you won't get the sugar crash. Absolutely. Right? So it's a great for energy boosters, especially right before homework, after sports activities, or right before. But all you're going to do is scoop them into little balls um, with the scooper there. And like I said, you're going to you can freeze them, um, or you can just put them into the refrigerator or eat them the way that they are. Um, so yeah, you can put them in Ziploc bags and put them in lunch boxes or however you feel is. Um, is convenient for you and your family. 
Oh, yeah. that's so easy. And to mm -hmm. just freeze those, so yeah. just yeah, put them in a plastic bag, and so kids Absolutely. can just pop them out and maybe let them thaw or eat them. Eat them frozen, yes. do you so want we to, actually right? sell these at the bakery. These are our pumpkin pie energy bites, but you can add in any type of like sugar-free uh, chocolate chips or have fun with any type of toppings. That's a great idea. Okay, this and when she first set this up, it really caught my eye because we're talking about tacos, but not any kind of taco here. <laughs> Little pancakes and all this fresh fruit and everything, and all of this is very, very healthy, right? Yes. So um, actually, you can make, you can go to you know your local grocer. Uh, we have our friends over at Grain for Grain, and they make a great pancake base. Um, we've always used them. They have 13 grams of fiber in them, so you can just do this with the kids. We like to set this up after school and just do like a fruit taco bar. And so we have some yogurt there that you're going to mix, Mike, with some added protein powder. And that's how you can just add in some more nutritional value. Okay. Um, you'll mix that in and then um, look like a magician. <laughs> and then you just add some there. You can grab a pancake and just smear it onto the base. So just a little bit in here like yeah, this. Yeah, okay. just like that. And then you can have fun with any toppings. You can do mangoes and strawberries, which we have there. You can do blackberries, um, dragon fruit, whatever really is, is your go-to fruit. And you said the pancakes also can freeze. Yes, and, and you so you can out. make those ahead of time, right? Mm -hmm. uh, just for that added convenience. And uh, you can go ahead and freeze those and just pull them out and thaw them out um, as you go throughout the week. And and with the fruit mixed up like that, if you put it in containers, that will keep a couple of days in the fridge. So you could just kind of lay this out there yeah. and, and each and every day, especially if you have a couple of different, you know, a couple of kids and they can pick what they want to make, right? Actually, yeah, and, that's exactly the way that you want to go about it. And yeah, you can get some coconut butter? or however okay. you want. Yes, let's apple butter. Um, so yeah. We have things at the bakery as well that you can grab and easily go ahead and, and go to. And the rest of these mm. desserts, of course, are also diabetic friendly. What made you open this different type of bakery? I'm glad you asked. So my son actually has ADD, and um, that's the whole reason we went about opening Barbell Sweets. Um, I created some um, muffins, chocolate muffins, and um, just to take out the, the sugar from his uh, diet to help him focus more after school, um, and then just to increase the, the protein in his diet. And so so that's how Barba Sweets came about. And all of these goodies, like the, which uh, cupcake did you want? <laughs> which one was it? Uh, I think you wanted the banana or, no, I'm not too sure actually. Triple chocolate? You I'll okay. Okay. She'll grab chocolate. And, uh, at your store, and you're over there in Helotus? Helotus, yes, right past O'Connor. So if you have any kids in school, definitely come to us right after. And you have a deal right now for folks watching. Yes. So if you see us on SA Live, just mention um, that you saw me, and we will give you 15% off of your purchase. 15% off mm -hmm. the purchase. And which one is this? Apple Annie. It's my favorite. It's Apple like Annie. fall, oh. and it has like apple streusel on top. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Okay. <laughs> For more information on Barbell Sweets, all you have to do is head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. See, and I don't feel guilty eating this because she said it's so healthy. I know. Sweet <laughs> without the <laughs> cheese. I love it. Look at that. <laughs> all right. Well, if you're looking to get crafty and pin inspired for the new school year, you can do all that and more at Pinspiration Craft Studio. Yep. From, uh, you know, teacher gifts to personalized pet paintings, a whole lot more. Jen Tobias Trusky is getting crafty out there. Hey, Jen, what's going on? Hello, yes, you know I love this stuff, Mike Fiona, and I'm so excited to be back here at Pinspiration because there's so much going on. As always, we're gonna start with these awesome teacher gift ideas. Christine Marr is here Hello. to talk about some of these projects that you could take on right now. All right, I know some kids already started back to school and others are coming later, so we have a lot of great options. So teachers can make it or you can actually give it to your teacher. So we've got great little frames, we have these great little craft boxes that you could make. It could actually just say school supplies and you can use stuff like mason jars and put pencils and crayons and rulers, uh, paint brushes, you name it. Sorry, I'm not very good with this, but anyway, so that is a lot of fun. We have a lot of stuff for teachers or even if you wanna do it back at home, but I'm really here and really excited today about announcing this next month. Yes. We had a partnership with the Animal Defense League. I am, an avid rescue fan and I've got I've had two rescue dogs and so we're partnering with the Animal Defense League for a paint your pup workshop puppy dog even your cat if you will and we will make a donation back to Animal Defense League to help some of these great little animals 
find their forever homes. So we're really excited about that. You just go online to pinspiration.com San Antonio. You can book a reservation and then send us an email or a picture of your puppy or kitty and we'll have it all ready for you. And you can see what she's doing. Yes. This is Jenga who you saw earlier. Jenga, oh, so right here. So we took a mm -hmm. picture and then she is doing, you can pick whatever colors you want. Some people mm -hmm. do abstract, other people do other colors. You could do not even just the colors of your pup. So it's so much fun and it's such a worthy, worthy, worthy cause. Um, I love, I love how you can s send the picture of your own pet and then so you guys are able to pixelate it and then transfer it and a portion of this will go back to the Animal Defense League. Now who I'm painting here is Jenga and this dog is a beauty and she needs a home and so I am going to shift over to our friends at the Animal Defense League. This is Michelle and I'm going to hand that mic to you. Hello, hello. And so you have Jenga here. Yes, Let's talk about Jenga. Yes, Jenga is one of our staff favorites. So she is a seven year old terrier mix. Um, she is a true couch potato, a love bug, will be your absolute best friend. And unfortunately she is one of our longest stayed residents as well, making her a diamond in the rough is what we call them. So mm -hmm. all of our diamonds in the rough are those that have been with us for six months or longer, actually don't have a adoption fee. The fee mm -hmm. is waived. Jenga has been with us for three years. Um, so we're really excited to be a part of this Jenga. event and super grateful for Pinspiration. Um, we're also really excited that HEB is going to be participating as a supporter of this event as well. So when you do decide to participate with this Paint Your Pup program, um, not only does a portion of the proceeds go to benefit ADL, but you will also receive a gift from HEB, which is going to be a super cute bandana that Jenga is modeling. I will try to get Jenga to turn she's here. She's being a you little camera shy. <laughs> um, and you'll also get a little bag of treats as well for your pups at home. So, we're really, so really HEB is really helping out. At, and you guys have so many pets. And I asked earlier about the cats that you have because you have a whole cattery, right? We do. We have a whole cattery. We have a ton of pets that are available for adoption. You can actually view everybody that we do have available on our website, adltexas.org. And you can see all of our diamonds specifically on a page on that site as well. Um, so you can help out. You know, every pet needs a home, but these diamonds really have been with us for too long, and especially Miss Jenga. And the fact that the, the fee is waived. So Jenga needs a home. Here she is. Jenga, come on, look at your camera. Oh, look at that face. Okay. So let's make sure she gets a home. Three years. Three years, y'all. So again, come out here. You can paint your pet and you can give back at the same time or take on another project. I'm going to leave here with some of those art kits that they have. Christine, thank you so much. Guys, back to you for more information. You know where to go. SALive.com. Click the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Jenga. Got to get Jenga a home. Yes. Back to you guys. Three years I know. waiting for a forever home. That's always heartbreaking when they've been out there that long. Somebody. I think Jenga home. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much, Jen. All right, still ahead on SA Live. You really want to get the kids excited about learning? Move over books. We are getting hands on with cute critters and how you can find out how next. But first, new windows could be what you need to help keep your home cool. How a local company is building their windows, Texas Summer Tuck. It's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it's here, the hottest time of the year. And if you're looking for a little relief, look no further than your windows. If you have old windows that you need replaced, the Window Stores of San Antonio is ready to help. Joining me now is owner Moses Torres. Welcome, welcome. Hi there, how are we doing? All right, so the weather here in South Texas, I mean, we know. We know it's gonna get extremely hot and the weather can really put wear and tear on your home. Why is it important where your windows come from? Well, it's very important to uh, the local economy, especially. Our windows are going to actually be here in Texas. So they're Texas made, Texas proud. Uh, and of course, we're locally owned and operated as well. So it does help the local economy. Okay, so what kind of windows do you offer? So we offer all types of windows. Uh, every window that's manufactured or made, whether it's custom, it's arched, or whether it's any type of window that you have, we can make. So anything from double hung, single hung, arches, whatever you want. Whatever you need, whatever. you can make it happen, it. right? Okay, <laughs> so if folks want to replace their windows, do they get a free estimate? <laughs> yeah, they do. So all they have to do is just either look us up on the web at windowsourceofsa.com or give us a call. Uh, we'd be more than happy to set up a no high pressure sales uh, free consultation. 
Okay, one of the animals there is all about, I think they, they want to call. And noise reduction as okay, well. Noise too, reduction, so. there we go. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about the installation process. If folks want a window, I mean, how long does that take? And uh, in general, we're up for and honest with you. Just keep in mind right now, because of the, the things that are going on here in the, in the world today, uh, products uh, sh shortages, uh, raw material shortages uh, from truck drivers, just jobs, it's just, it's taking a toll. Uh, and what we're trying to do is just be honest with, with, uh, with all of our customers and let them know that, hey, right now expect about a 16 week turnaround. Uh, that's pretty common with industry wide. Uh, so just be patient. Uh, we just ask to be patient with us. Uh, we, 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 we really wanted to get them installed as quickly as possible as well too. So uh, I know summertime's gonna end pretty soon, fall's coming. Of course, it's an all year round window, so it does uh, help out in the winter time as well too. So take advantage of what you can. And your warranty is bar none, right? It's second to none. Uh, we offer a full lifetime warranty on the window itself. So if you accidentally break a window, we replace it no cost to you. If you notice that there's sill failure, uh, we replace that no cost to you as well. All the mechanical parts, uh, labor, it is transferable, all the whole nine yards. So. And you have a new location? We do. Uh, we're growing so fast, uh, thanks to all of our customers that we, we are growing rapidly. Uh, we're locally owned and operated in the west side. Uh, we opened up a new 7,500 square foot office warehouse space to uh, hold all the windows. And of course, we've got a brand new showroom, so you guys come on and visit with us. Uh, we're more happy to show you what we have available and give you a free estimate while we're there as well, too. All right. Well, let's get the information up on the screen. Call now and get your free window estimate. The number is 210-806-7625. That's 210-806-7625. Texas made, Texas proud. And for more information, visit windowsourceofsa.com. Moses, thank you so much. We might need it. some of those noise reduction I'm telling windows you, what's here. Going on back there? <laughs> All right, still ahead on the show. Local kids competed to find some of the best junior cooks in the city. Two young pros are gonna teach Mike some of their tips and tricks that help them win. And next, Hey, they bring the zoo to you, how you can get an unforgettable close encounter with some critters that's straight ahead. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, you see him right there. That little critter looks like a monkey, but he's actually a closer relative to a raccoon. You're not talking about Robert. No, okay. no, no, not Robert Trejo, owner of Zoo Imagination, who joins us. We're talking about this cute little guy that he brought with him. Yes, this is Milo, and Milo is, Milo. Uh, is a kinkajou. They are from Central and South America. They are a nocturnal species. They are also known as a frugivore because 90% of their diet consists of fruit. They also eat insects, they'll eat, uh, they'll steal eggs from a nest, so they'll eat other little animals too, but most of their diet consists of fruit. Uh, now they do have a prehensile tail, which you might have seen yes. him as he's kind of climbing around my shoulders there. Oh, he's all about, oh, he's, oh, yeah, he's hey. <laughs> So yeah, being a nocturnal animal, they spend most of the day sleeping. Now during the day, they might move here and there a little bit, but they really like to just sleep during the day. So during, at, at night, when they look for their food, they use their sense of smell. They have in really good hearing. They have, they have really wearing. good hearing. Um, and they also communicate with each other, but they also have high-pitched little squeal sounds. It almost sounds like little birds chirping at each other when they communicate with each other. Um, so it's not at all what you expect. Wow. Now, are they solitary yeah. animals? Do they yeah. run in little groups? They, uh, they, 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 they are social within each other. So you might just see one or two running together. But when they communicate with each other, you can hear a whole bunch of them kind of in the dark, uh, but most of the time they, you might find one or two that, are, that fi find a nest and they hang out together. Uh, they also have the ability to rotate their back feet as they're climbing down a tree, so they're able to kind of climb down a tree and then run back it, run, run up it with their back feet also rotated. Okay, yeah, you can right. almost kind of see that, the way yeah. his back feet are. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Right, there, right there, yep, right there. You see there. how he rotates his foot so he can turn around. Yeah, so. Very cool. Yeah, very strong tail. They're able to hold their body weight with their tail. <laughs> yeah, I see uh, so that So he can right literally now. hang upside down with his tail, uh, yeah. and that's how they hang on trees. You said related to a raccoon. I know rac raccoons have a lot right. of dexterity. Do they, they have do the same thing. They okay. have the same thing with their front feet as okay. well. So yeah, they're able to grab things, and he does have a banana here, there, but 
Where it's are you going? It's on the move. It's on the move. Fur feel like I want to. Very soft. You can touch me. Yeah, very oh, wow. soft. Okay. Whoa. It's very soft hair. Very oh. very soft. All right. So nice. Next, okay. the <laughs> one that is making all the noise today. Yes. Gonna... All right. You're up. You're up. You're up. This is it. This is yes. what you've been training for. So this is Frank. <laughs> Hi, Frank. <laughs> Hello, Frank. I now, feel Frank, like we know each other. Yes, like, yeah. <laughs> He's the, He's the one that's been there. talking this whole time. Yeah. Very vocal animal. Frank is a military macaw. He is 21 years old, which some people might think that's old for a bird, but they can live about 65 to 70 years. Wow. They are from the central and the northern part of South America. Now, in that part of South America, birds like Frank are on the endangered species list. So they are critically endangered, in fact. Uh, due to deforestation and also uh, the illegal pet trade. So a, a lot of these birds are taken from the wild when they're little and then they get shipped across the world. Right. Um, so that's, a, you know, that's, a, that's what you hear a lot. About. His beak Be looks like some sort of a, a vice grip tool. Yeah. And they've got a lot, that, that thing can yes. crack nuts and everything else, right? Very powerful beak. They can bite down with over a thousand pounds of pressure per wow. square inch. Wow. And, and <laughs> you could, yes. Don't get your fingers. <laughs> he said that's right. He said that's right. That's right, that's right that's yeah. That's such beautiful coloring. They do. So even right even the red that you see there, yeah. those are all little tiny pin feathers. Uh, even the, the black you see around his eyes, those are pin feathers as well. Oh. Now, if you look at another macaw and you look at those black feathers, they all have a different pattern. That is their fingerprint. That's how you can tell them apart. But you'd almost have to look at them very closely to be able to determine the difference there. Uh, but they are very vocal. They can be heard over a mile away. Yeah, well, I yes. believe that. Yeah. You've heard that already, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Everybody in Marketsburg heard that. Yeah. 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 Yes, we know. <laughs> Touche. And now, if you don't like creepy crawlies, all right. um, we have got a couple of them out here for you. First of all, you know, it's either folks don't like snakes or don't like tarantulas. So we've got everybody covered this today. This one as I we have down at the bottom of the table. This is from a bad horror movie. <laughs> This is Lo this is Lolita. Lolita, I love her name. <laughs> she is a Mexican red knee tarantula. She's four years old. Uh, you can tell by the red knees. That's how they get the name there. She is one of. Uh, she is a medium sized tarantula. Oh. Very docile species of tarantula. They can live about twenty to thirty years. Oh wow! Depending really? on the, yeah, depending on the is age this, and the is type this of. Is creeping you out? No, I, I, see that. <laughs> I don't really okay. mind that much. Yeah, you can. We can kind there of transfer. Okay. So just a little gentle nudge, and there I'll she let goes. You nudge. There you I'll go. Let you nudge. It's so funny when they walk because I mean the, it's kind of soft yes. and. Yeah, yeah exactly. and they also have these tiny little hooks on their tips of their toes, which allow them to climb. Mm -hmm. And you, that's what you're feeling when they're actually hooking on to you a little okay. bit there. So and that's what you so feel. She's so light. Yeah. So light. You would yeah. never notice her yes, crawling. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like a lot of middle-aged men, she's got a bald spot. Yes. <laughs> so tarantulas are known as hair flickers. They actually will flick their tiny little hairs as part of their protection. So she'll rub her back legs up against that, that bottom part of her tail there and it'll flick into the air. Now, eventually her hair will grow back, but that's just something that they commonly do, and that's why you sometimes you see a bald spot on the tarantulas there. Okay, the other, good lord. Hello. <laughs> All right. right. Yeah, you might just, want to stand back. I'm just going to socially okay. distance from we'll that thing. This. So. We'll Holy here. smokes. <laughs> do you need me to? Oh, yeah. God. You can lift her up and put her on the table there. You can there. do it, Mike. You can God, yeah, she's boy. very strong. Oh, there you go. Yeah. She's constricting. Oh, good Lord. There, you can feel her strength when yes. she's doing that. Yes. Okay, so we've got 30 seconds. Okay, this is Medusa. Hi. <laughs> she, of course She is, is a 10-foot uh, Columbia red-tailed boa. She is 60 pounds. Yeah. They are a constrictor. This is also another snake you find in the central and southern part of South America. Likes so. to hang out in bathtubs. Did I see that? <laughs> she like, really? Okay. Uh, sometimes she gets a bath. Yeah, she gets You a can bath. come to people's homes, schools, yes. anything else. How do people Absolutely. get a hold of you? They can reach me at zoomagination.com. Uh, we have our website there, and it gives you all the information about all the programs that we offer. All right. Yeah. And hands on with. Yes, they can certainly they can meet all these animals, they can touch them. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Well, if you'd again like more information about Zoom Imagination and for a lot of these animals to come to you, just go to our website, as seen on SALive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Robert, as always, so good to see you. Thank you <laughs> it's good very to see much, you guys. Sue. Sir. Uh, sorry. From Zoo. Yes. <laughs> okay, it's Next okay. on SA Live, meet two winners of a local junior chef competition, and they're going to give me a cooking lesson. And boy, I'll tell you what, this was delicious.
Welcome back to SA Live. Well, I got to meet two truly impressive local teens. Mara Harris and Nefertiti Hall won the sixth annual Community Junior Chef Competition, and they impressed some of the city's well-known chefs and restaurant owners with their culinary skills. And you enter the kitchen to get a taste of the winning dish. Yes, indeed. Check it out. We are out here at the kitchen campus with a couple of junior chef champions and they are going to show us how to make their award winning meal and Nefer TV Hall is one of the champions. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. All right. What are we making today? A chili lime pork steak. Ooh, that sounds really good. Okay. So what do we so what do we got going here first of all? This is the uh, the pork tenderloin. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what's it coated in? Because there's it looks like a lot of good flavors on there. Chili lime and pork. Fort Kenton. Why do you like cooking so well? It's um, it's a very calming experience for me. It's a good, it's a good relaxing thing after a tough day, and just to kind of sit in the kitchen and come up with a great recipe like this. Okay, so what is the trick to making this extra good and extra special? Um, cook it on four minutes on each side at 145 degrees. Okay, and just a little bit of uh, olive oil in there. Yeah. What's your favorite thing to cook? Fried chicken, a lot. Ooh. Pork chops. Ooh. On the bone or off the bone? Okay. On the bone. On the bone. That's the best, right? <laughs> yeah. Because you get down to the bone, you say, yeah, that's a bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, what goes with this dish? Um, sauteed shrimp and vegetables. Okay. So we are here with Maya right now, and you're doing the other portion. Of course, you got to have your vegetables, right? What are we uh, doing here with the vegetables? Um, I'm sauteing them with some simple seasoning, um, garlic, um, pepper, and salt. So what is the, the trick to sautéing vegetables? Um, all you really have to, you don't have to put that much, it's just really simple. You don't have to put that much seasoning, um, less is the best. Oh, it is, okay. That way you can get the good flavor of the vegetables coming through and it's not all just flavor tasting salt or pepper or something like that. So, how'd you get interested in cooking? Um, my mom and my aunt Saranda. How would you describe cooking with your mom or your aunt? Well, it's, it's really fun and it's like a bond that we have. It's like our thing. It's something that we do, like most people have. It's like a tradi tradition, but most doing it every day. So, Minus, tell me about this this chef competition. Chef competition, this is six years in the making. Six years. Um, this is children who are at home, love the Food Network. Um, they are giving their time to their family, putting their all into these meals to show their, their mom, their dad, your, their grandma, their grandparents, like, hey, I know how to cook just better, better than you. Okay, tell me about the, the two winners. Okay, so the two winners this year was more profound and more monumental because we had 10 from the lowest of 10 to the highest of 14. They killed it this year. How did they kill it? They killed it by flavoring. They captured flavoring profiling and they did the etiquette of what we do as chefs in the kitchen. Okay. Why is doing something like this so important for these kids? It's very important because it enriches them to teach them a job skill right before going into their, their growth the next year. And a great way to impress their friends and their family yeah. and, and down the road, <laughs> being able to cook a wonderful meal, right? It's so funny, the passion they had when they got over you know, the, the pans and the stove and everything, and they signed my apron, both of them, and I said, <laughs> oh, I when they get those restaurants that you can't get into, I said, oh. this is my, my free pass. Oh, good. I I'll, get to cut the line to get I in. I usually so. just drop your name. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they said, I get a free pass with this apron, I have to keep it for him. But that was delicious, too, so, yeah. yeah very nice, yeah. very nice. All right, next on the show. Are you struggling to lose weight and don't have the same energy that you used to? We're going to tell you where local men are getting help feeling like they're old selves again. Keep it here. You're watching SA Live. Can't wait till these two open their restaurants in the future. Delicious, ladies. That is really good. Mm. 
Welcome back, everyone. Well, this summer, if you are trying to look and feel your best, you know, it can be tough getting back to your old self the more we age. One thing that might be causing guys trouble is low T or low testosterone. And Brandon Heath, owner of Mayo Medical Group, joins us now with information for guys who want to turn their lives around. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, we've talked about this a lot, but for somebody that maybe has never seen this, what exactly is testosterone therapy and how does it work? So uh, obviously testosterone is the male, uh, the main male hormone, mm -hmm. and it declines with age. So uh, medically, after about age 30, it's going to decline by 2% every year. And it, that doesn't sound like a lot at, on the surface, but it adds up over time. And because it's a gradual decline, uh, sometimes you don't even remember how you used to feel. So what we do at our clinic is, is provide the therapy that gets you back to feeling the way you did when you were younger. Because a lot of times folks will think, well, you know, it's just, yeah, I'm, I'm working hard, I'm a little tired, and they just kind of write it off to that, but it actually can be the low T, right? Oh, just, yes. Just the, the daily kind of Like uh, I said, it's the primary male sex hormone, and um, it's kind of interesting, most, <laughs> more and more often we notice that the, uh, the men that come into our practice over the last 10 years say, my wife or my girlfriend or my partner has been the one that's noticed the biggest change in me. Uh, they say that I have more energy to play with my play with the kids, mm -hmm. or they I want to have another kid now, I maybe okay. didn't want. So, so what <laughs> does actually somebody go through? Is it an injection? Is it a pill? Um, and, and what can okay. people see after the treatment? So, so you have traditional doctor's offices, right? Mm -hmm. And then, so we're a specialized medical clinic. So our doctors have been only been, have only been doing testosterone therapy and our other male related treatments exclusively. That's all they do all day. So you'll come in and you'll go through a full physical. Um, you'll do all the traditional paperwork you do at a normal practice and we get your blood levels tested in office same day results. Um, so there's symptoms of low T and then there's your actual blood. So, I mean, and the proof's in the pudding with your blood. So then if, you're, if you do have low T, you get, uh, what, like a weekly injection or something? Or can you take a pill? We, we, we have uh, weekly injections, which are covered by um, most insurance. Mm -hmm. And if you're a guy that's on the go and traveling and it doesn't have time to maybe come in every week, we have a, a, pel a small little pellet therapy that uh, lasts for three or four months. Um, up to six months, and you'll just have your blood tested every three months, so it's okay. much different and convenient for different people. And you said most insurances do cover this? Yes. Yes, okay. that's true. And speaking of price and everything, you've got a deal for folks right now that call in, right? First 10 people to call today, get a free consultation with Mayo Medical Group? Yes. Yeah, normally we do uh, our um, blood work, our physician consultation, and the appointment with your counselor would be $299, but we're going to do it actually for free for the first 10 guys today. Hey, can't beat that deal. So once again, the first 10 people to call today will get a free consultation with Mayo Medical Group. The number to call is 210-361-1203, and for more information, visit mailmedicalgroup.com. Brandon, thank you very much. Appreciate thank it, you. Sir. Next on SA Live, they want you to love your smile. A local dentist is offering a special deal that can help transform your teeth and give you that dream smile. Stay with us. Well, need something to make you smile? There is an expert that does just that. Dr. Alfonso Menares reconstructs people's smiles so they can live better lives with all on fours. And we're out here at Stone Ridge Dental and this is Dr. Menares. Good to see you, sir. Great to see you again. Mike. Okay, all on fours, how long do they last? You know, we, we try for this to be a treatment that's gonna last forever. We want these patients to live the rest of their life without dental problems by replacing their teeth with dental implants. So that's our goal. You know, they should they should have a, a mouth free of problem for the rest of their lives. So when you get this full mouth reconstruction, what's the downtime after that and recovery period? That's a great question. You know, 90% of the work happens in one day. They come to the office, they get sedated, they walk out of here with a brand new smile and a healthy mouth, but obviously the body doesn't feel that day. So 
you know, while 90% of the work is done that day, within a few days, they can come back to their normal life and activities. And in the next three or four months, they see me a few times until they graduate with a brand new smile for the rest of their lives. And this is the great solution to wearing dentures, right? Absolutely. You know, denture patients struggle for the rest of their life. This is a fixed permanent solution for those patients that have suffered with dentures and have no teeth. And instead of just talking about it, we have pictures uh, that show exactly what he is talking about. The first patient with a beautiful smile. These are great stories. You know, this lady um, had a long time relationship with her dentist. She came from out of town and, and her dentist said, you know, I know somebody that can help you. He tried really hard to keep her teeth healthy, but it was at the point that there was nothing else that could be done with normal dentistry. So she came, got the old on four and look how she looks now. She looks mm, super young, super happy and she's just ready to enjoy the rest of her life without dental pain and suffering. The next gentleman, he's just a, another wonderful person that was just ready to enjoy life, but he was missing a lot of teeth. He was very unfortunate with, with a bad dentition. He came to the office, got the olum four done, and now he can enjoy life. He has a healthy mouth, he can eat. He, his self-esteem is wonderful, and, and he just is ready to be who he really is now, that he can smile and enjoy time with his family. And last? Last, is a, it's a wonderful example of a beautiful lady that just didn't like her smile. She looked, you know, the teeth were worn down. She had gum disease. She was missing all her back teeth. And she really, she's a really beautiful lady. She just didn't want to smile. So we replaced her teeth with dental implants and we were able to create in this blank canvas a beautiful smile. We chose the color, the size, the shape of all her teeth. And now she's happy. She's wonderful, and smiling and, and just living life to the fullest. And like you said, aside from no more pain and problems like that, physical problems, the mental, the self-esteem, and, and what's better than smiling? Nothing, nothing. The smile can change the world, for sure. It does, and it's changed their world as well. Absolutely. Well, the first 10 people to call will get Dr. Menard's Love Your Smile offered. It comes with a free consultation, complete smile consultation, that's $350 in savings. Just call 210-610. 5479. And for more information, visit the website, implantsanantonio.com. Dr. Moneris, thank you very much. Thank you, man. Come on, I say live, get your kids ready for back to school with the best resources available. We share a few craft activities and help you bond with your kids and set goals for the new school year in a fun, creative way. Plus, there's a new workout class for women in town that will get you in shape like a professional boxer. We try it out live on the show. That and more tomorrow at 1 right here on SA Live. Never miss an episode of SA Live. Watch live or when you want on the KSAT TV app on these devices. SA Live streaming for free on KSAT TV. All right. Earlier, we asked you to share your school spirit. Crystal Aww. shares this. Alex's first day of school at Sunshine Cottage. Wonderful. They were such wonderful hosts for us last night. We enjoyed it out there.